Steph's doing a PhD that is funded by a NERC Open Case Award. So NERC provide the funding jointly with Shell. So when you drill in the Gulf of Mexico, you're drilling geologically blind. You don't know what rocks are beneath you. So as you drill, bits of rock come to the surface. We dissolve up that rock to obtain fossils from it. And we use those fossils basically to tell the drillers where they are in the geological sequence. When you drill offshore in deep water, it's incredibly difficult technically and very dangerous. Therefore, the more information you have about the rock sequence below your drill rig, the basically the less drilling you have to do and also the more information you have in terms of um, the, the conditions. Therefore, we provide that information and it helps in terms of safety and environment and preventing disasters such as we've seen in the past. We need to know exactly through a study of the fossils, the tiny microscopic organisms in the rock, where exactly we are in the rock layers. And we can see what kind of oil and gas has been generated by these source rocks, which helps us in turn focus the exploration effort and target our wells into the right positions. While I was doing my undergrad um, dissertation project, I was working on dinoflagellates and fell in love with them really a little bit. They're just interesting little critters, they're, they're like nothing else, they're not a full plant, they're not a full animal, they're, they're protists so they're, they're in the realm in between. They eat stuff but they can photosynthesise as well, they glow in the dark, they can give people seafood poisoning, they cause red tides, you know, and you, they're really useful in their old industry as well, you can use them as biostratigraphic markers when, when the guys offshore are like drilling, you can Basically, you've got a biostrat person saying, OK, we've got this assemblage, yeah, maybe maybe sh we should drill a little bit further, we're not quite deep enough, or we should stop. There are three reasons why Shell would want to get involved. First of all, access to world-class academic departments, and that means cutting-edge research and uh, research techniques. Second reason is that we have in the end of a research project done by a student who has the time and expertise to complete work that we in-house are unable to do simply because of lack of time and available resources. And most important too, we have a student at the end who is fully professionally trained in a key niche subject who is immediately deployable in the industry. The actual information the science that Steph's doing will be fed back to Shell and they'll be able to use this information as they continue to drill around the Gulf of Mexico. Every rig that drills in the Gulf of Mexico will use Steph's data and improve the economy and the efficiency of drilling.